Hi, this is Todd with Land of Map. In this video, we're going to spend a couple minutes looking at how you can find the angles of two intersecting lines. A couple of basic rules and a few examples. So let's go ahead and jump into it and get started right now. Alright, so looking at intersecting lines. So first we're going to look at some basic terminology. So intersecting lines are when two lines cross. And when these two lines cross, what's going to happen is they're going to create four different angles. Now, these four angles are going to have angles that are across from each other. So in this example, angle one and three are across from each other, and these are called vertical angles. Angle two and four are also across from each other. They're also vertical angles. So angles two and four are going to be the same measurement. One and three are also going to be the same measurement. Now, another thing is when you're looking at all these angles, you'll notice that they all together form a circle. So all these angles are going to equal 360 degrees. Two adjacent angles, two angles side by side, are going to equal 180 degrees. So just a quick recap. So angles that are across from each other, like angles 1 and 3, or angles 2 and 4, they're called vertical angles. Angles that are side by side, like angles 1 and 2, 2 and 3, um, 3 and 4, or angles 4 and 1, those are called adjacent angles, and they're going to equal 180 degrees. And then finally, all four of these angles that come together are going to equal 360 degrees. All right, the next thing we're looking at is finding the missing angles of intersecting lines. So if we start with this one, this is strategy or option one. If angle one is 30 degrees, angle three is also going to be 30 degrees. They're vertical angles. Now we also know that angle one plus two, those two angles are adjacent, so they're going to equal 180 degrees. So what we do is just take the 180, subtract what we know, the 30 degrees, and that gives us 150. So the measurement of angle two is 150 degrees. Well, if angle two is 150 degrees, angle four is also 150 degrees because they're vertical angles. This next strategy, option two, we start out kind of the same. Angle three is gonna be 30 degrees because those two are vertical. But we also know that all four angles equal 360. So we take 360 minus 60, we just added the two 30 degree angles, and we get 300 degrees. So angle two and angle four equal 360, I'm sorry, equal 300. Just divide it by two, and we get 150. So what that means is angle two equals 150, angle four will equal the same thing. All right, so here are a couple more examples coming up. Now, on these next examples, angle 3 was 110, so angle 1 is also 110. And we know that if we add angle 1 and angle 3, that equals 220. So this is a strategy we're going to take the 360 minus the 220, the ones that we have, and we get 140. We can divide 140 by 2 and get 70, so that means angle 2 is 70 degrees. Angle 4 will be the same thing because they're vertical. All right, here's our last example, and this is like option one from our last examples. We know the measurement of angle three is 110, so the measurement of angle one is also 110. So we know that angles two and three together are going to equal 180. So these two angles right here equal 180. So just take 180 minus the one we know, 110, and that gives us 70 degrees. That means angle two would have to be 70. Well, if two is 70, angle four also 70 degrees. Well, thanks for watching this short video. Hopefully it was helpful. We'd love it if you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time on The Land of Math.